Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market and look at that, such a green day in the stock market, the biggest green day in over a decade. Redfin up 31%, Unity up 29%, the list goes on and on and on with even big stocks like Apple, Amazon up double digits. We have Amazon up 12%, Coinbase up 10%, Meta up 10%. So this is a rally that the stock market really needed to see after the harsh sell-off that we've seen coming from it lately. We also have Apple up 8% by the way. So in this video, not only are we gonna go over the reason why the stock market rallied so hard, we're gonna give our predictions for the upcoming future of the market as a whole. And make sure you stay to the end because we're even gonna go over individual stocks that you guys wanna hear about the most, like Apple and Amazon, is there buying opportunities? Are there huge buying opportunities right now? Or are we gonna see lower prices and get better deals once again in the future? So like this video, subscribe on YouTube with post notifications on and let's jump right into this video. So here we have a bunch of headline articles coming in. Just in CPI for October came in at 7.0 cent year over year, below expectations of 7.9. CPI numbers tomorrow are more important than midterms and it will set the tone for the next month. Okay, JPM says that the CPI comes in 8.4 or higher. S&P 500 can fall 6%. Now we came in at 7.0. 0.7% way under expectations. Wow. CPI comes in cold CPI month over month is 0.6% expected versus 0.4% actual. Okay. This means good news for the fed and stocks. Here we can see some price increases over the last year. Fuel and oil leading the packs up over 68% year over year. Absolutely stunning. Used cars only 2% up at the very bottom. So feel free to go over that if you want. Now we also see that Biden said that CPA data shows that we are making progress on bringing inflation down. This is obviously why the stock market rallied so much because inflation was the biggest hindrance to the stock market. Um, so now that people are seeing that inflation is under control, here we can even see a, a, a tweet. Obviously, this is sarcasm, but now that inflation has been de defeated, can we resume the bull market? <laughs> Here's another good one. Tesla wondering when Elon will be back from grabbing milk at the store. SpaceX drowning. Twitter having an absolute time. Elon is the mom and Tesla's at the very bottom already dead. So I retweet all the best stuff. I'm verified on Twitter, by the way, for Twitter Blue. Thank you for that. We only have 6,000 followers on Twitter as of right now at TDSM Stocks, the daily stock market. Follow along because we post awesome updates there that we don't post on Instagram or YouTube. And also just a little reminder, Veterans Day is tomorrow. Thank you who served. Bond market is closed tomorrow, but the stock market is open. Okay, so let's go over some of the most popular stocks that everyone wants to know about, like Apple, for example, up 8.8%. Just had the largest single day activity. Their market cap surged around 2 hundred billion dollars just today from that eight per eight point five percent upward movement so congratulations to apple and apple holders and also by the way if you took some calls out you're up 614 percent 500 percent and if you took one way out of the money for example you can be up as much as a thousand percent so congratulations to everyone that took those out as for the long-term aspect Obviously, Apple's looking just fine. And if we pull out to the support and resistance and see what's been going on in the last year, we can see that there is a 52-week low of $130 per share that I definitely think that we can see Apple crossing again. So don't think that the bear market is over and it's just bull market from here. I think there's a good chance that we can see Apple under $140 per share and closer to $130 per share again. So I think there will be more buying opportunities from Apple. However, in the next day or two or three trading days, we could see a dead cat bounce. Okay, so we can definitely see a rally. Okay, right now we have a pretty strong resistance right at 150 to 155. So if Apple breaks above 150, it could definitely continue to 155. Um, I don't think Apple will break above 155, but if it does, that could be some good, good signs for not only Apple, but the market as a whole also. 
Now let's jump over into Amazon because they're another stock I've been very interested in right now. During the dip around $86 per share, we are posting in the close friends list. Not only are we buying Amazon for swing trading purposes and short term, but we're also buying Amazon for long term. Okay, at $86 per share. It was already up 12% just in one day. So that's a pretty good swing trade. Personally, I'm still going to be holding Amazon because I think Amazon has more upward potential than Apple or most other stocks in the stock market. And at the price point we're sitting at, it puts Amazon at an under a $1 trillion market cap, which I think is an easy 2x potential on Amazon to around $200 per share. We also see the P.E. ratio is 79, implying it is a little bit overvalued. Remember, it is Amazon that we are talking about. Okay, but now let's talk about everyone's favorite stock, which is Tesla, up 7% on the day. And for a while, it was sitting at $175 per share. Now, we see them down 14% in the last week, okay, and 35% downward movement in the last three months. So just three months ago, Tesla was sitting at $300 per share, and now it's closer to $175 or $150. So Tesla stock has almost fallen 50% just in the last three months if it continues to make some more downward movements. Now, personally, I am slowly dollar cost averaging into Tesla for long term. I do believe in them for long term. A lot of people are getting worried in the short term and thinking that Mr. Elon Musk is getting distracted by Twitter, but I think it's good if anything. Hopefully, Tesla will push down to around $150 per share because that's why I have price targets to buy a little bit heavier at, between $150 per share and $175 per share. We've definitely had some very interesting price action from Tesla over the last five years, absolutely exploding up 2,300%, okay? And it cooling off and dropping 30% plenty of times in the past and just rebounding from there. So the question is now, will Tesla rebound very quickly? Will it stall out, take a little bit more time for it to get back to new all-time highs? Or would it dip down closer to 150? Now, I think that's going to happen. Option C, we're going to dip down closer to 150, 140, test those lows, and maybe even go down to around $95 per share on Tesla, especially in the short term. Now, if you look at De Tesla's fundamentals and everything, they look very sound. The deliveries are growing. They're increasing by 30 to 50% every single year, which investors want. So... There is possibility that, you know, it won't go down to $150 or $95 per share. Just remember that, okay? But just because all these short-term distractions with Elon Musk and Twitter and how emotional people can be, I think Tesla is one of those stocks that could definitely get pushed down to around $175 to $150 per share once again. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. Thank you for all the love and support you've been showing on the channel. Okay, if you want to join the close friends list, hit success number six or success number five read through some of these recent stories lots of money being made on the close friends list right now is a very volatile in the stock time in the stock market so it can be a good time to get involved but if we just read through a few of these recent ones we can see more students results are pouring in up two thousand five hundred dollars up 216 percent DM me to join. We even hit a huge come up just today, up over 160%, $1,200 gain. And a lot of my students made money also up over $500 on the play. Share this video with a friend. Comment below what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for watching till the very end. You guys are the real ones. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.